Explore the ultimate guide to mastering your Salesforce Service Cloud Consultant interview brought to you by SaaS Guru. This comprehensive resource features expert answers, technical skills, and real-world scenarios to help you deliver superior customer support experiences. Get ready to excel with the most common and relevant interview questions, from basic understanding to advanced functionalities. Let's get started. Question 1. How are reports and dashboards used in Service Cloud? Reports and dashboards in Salesforce Service Cloud are crucial for gaining insights into customer service operations. Reports enable the examination of data points like case count, resolution periods, and customer contentment levels. Dashboards visually present this data, facilitating comprehension and sharing. These tools help in identifying trends, spotting issues, and making data-driven decisions to improve service quality. Question 2. Can you explain the Service Cloud metrics? Service Cloud metrics are key performance indicators, KPIs that help measure the efficiency and effectiveness of your customer service operations. They include measurements such as average handle time AHTU, first call resolution FCR and customer satisfaction score CSAT, among others. Tracking these metrics helps in evaluating performance, identifying areas of improvement, and benchmarking against industry standards. Question 3. How does Service Cloud support field service operations? Salesforce Service Cloud supports field service operations through its Field Service Lightning FSL feature. FSL provides tools for managing work orders, scheduling, dispatching field technicians, tracking inventory, and more. It also offers features like mobile access, real-time collaboration, and AI-powered scheduling, ensuring efficient field service operations. Question 4. How is data security managed in Service Cloud? Data security in Salesforce Service Cloud is managed through a combination of features like user authentication, access controls, data encryption, and audit trail. Salesforce aligns itself with a variety of international data protection rules and standards, thereby safeguarding the confidentiality and security of customer data. Question 5. Could you explain GDPR and how Service Cloud adheres to it? The General Data Protection Regulation GDPR represents a directive from the European Union safeguarding EU citizens' privacy and personal data. Salesforce Service Cloud complies with GDPR by implementing features like data minimization, right to erasure, and privacy by design. Salesforce also provides tools to help businesses maintain GDPR compliance in their customer service operations. Question 6. How would you handle a high-priority case that came in while you were managing several other cases? With Salesforce Service Cloud's case management capabilities, I would use the case assignment rules to automatically assign the high-priority case to an available agent. If needed, I could also escalate the case using escalation rules based on the criteria such as time and priority. Question 7. Can you describe a scenario where you used Salesforce Service Cloud to improve customer satisfaction? Yes. In my previous role, we implemented Salesforce Service Cloud's knowledge base for our customer support. We populated it with articles, FAQs, and solutions to common issues. This significantly reduced case resolution times and improved our overall customer satisfaction. Question 8. A customer wants a refund for a product they purchased, but it's outside of the return window. How would you use Service Cloud to handle this? I would use Service Cloud's case management feature to track the interaction. Depending on the policies of the company, I might escalate the case to the manager or another team for review. Service Cloud ensures that we have a complete record of the customer's interactions and issues for reference. Question 9. How would you use Salesforce Service Cloud to track and resolve customer issues across multiple channels? Salesforce Service Cloud offers omni-channel functionality that allows us to manage customer interactions across various channels like email, 
phone, social media, and the web. It helps ensure a seamless customer experience, regardless of the channel they choose to reach us. Question 10. Can you provide an example of a scenario where you used Service Cloud's reporting features to make a data-driven decision? In my previous role, we used Service Cloud's reporting features to track key metrics like case volume, resolution times, and customer satisfaction levels. We noticed an uptick in case volume at a specific time, which led us to adjust our staffing levels during peak times, improving our service level. Question 11. How would you use Service Cloud to improve a company's response time to customer complaints? Service Cloud's features, such as automated case routing and omni-channel presence status, can be leveraged to ensure that customer complaints are immediately assigned to available agents, reducing response times. Question 12. What is a situation where Service Cloud's social customer service could be utilized? If a customer reaches out or mentions our brand on social media with an issue or a complaint, we can use social customer service to immediately capture that interaction as a case and route it to an appropriate agent for resolution. Question 13. How would you use the Salesforce Service Cloud Console in a live chat situation? The Service Cloud Console integrates with Salesforce's live agent to manage live chat with customers. I would use the console to engage in real-time chat, access the customer's history and related cases, and update the case without needing to switch between screens. Question 14. Can you describe a scenario where you used Service Cloud's features to collaborate with other teams? The chatter in Service Cloud is a great feature for collaborating with different teams. In a scenario where a technical query came in that required input from the product team, I used chatter to tag the relevant team and individuals facilitating cross-functional collaboration for issue resolution. Question 15. How would you handle a situation where a customer requests support for an issue that is beyond your knowledge or expertise? With Salesforce Service Cloud, I would use the escalation rules to escalate the case to a higher level or specialized support team. This ensures that the customer's issue is addressed by someone with the necessary expertise and also, it aids in providing timely solutions.